children, welcome to KKC. Okay, we had one week break last Sunday, and we are so happy to see you again. Okay, so first thing first, can you put down your bags? Don't put down your bags, okay, so that you are lighter. And when you are lighter, you can sing better and worship better. So at the count of three, I want you to quickly move forward, space yourself up. Okay, then we will pray. Okay, can you do that? Okay, children, one, two, three, move. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Spread yourself up. Spread yourself up. Okay? So that we can dance like, okay, we can worship God with dancing. Ha. Ah, okay, can come forward a bit. Come forward a bit. Okay, come forward a bit. Come, uh, Asenberry. Okay, come forward. Okay, stop. Okay, children, let us pray and invite God even into KKC this afternoon. Okay, we want to bless God with worship. Let us all raise up our hand. Okay, and you pray after Auntie Yi. Thank you, God, that we can be here. That we can bless you with songs and worship. Help us to be focused on you. Let us not be, not be conscious of people around us. People around us. May we feel you, may we feel you in, every song. in every song. And may we also learn, may we also learn at your feet, at your feet from, start from start to finish, to finish of KKC. Of KKC. We praise you. We praise you for you are good. For you are good to us. To us. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. And Kaliao children say. Amen. Okay. Today we are blessed to have JJ Jillian. Okay. To <laughs> worship. Okay. Emergency one. But she said, can la, can la. Because God can. JJ Gillian can. Okay. Let's all praise God with all that we have. Okay. Over to you, JJ Gillian. Huh? So happy to see all of you here. Why not you? You just give a pat on your friend to your right. Say, I'm happy to see you. Thank you for giving up your nap time to come to KKC to learn together. Are you happy to see your friends? Are you happy to see your friends? Yeah, are you happy to be in the house of God? Yeah. yeah, so shall we give our all to praise and worship God, okay? So we will be singing a few very familiar songs, but let us do some actions together so to keep yourself awake, okay? We ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes, okay, let's start.
I'm out of breath already. Okay, shall we sing the second song? It's a Malay song. So, we want to do also some simple uh, actions. But I want to test you first. You see there, uh, loving in that like Pelangi. You know, you know it's Pelangi or not? Everybody, how to do Pelangi? It's a rainbow. Yes, yeah, very good. Esther, is it? Yeah. It's Pelangi, it's rainbow. See, so here it says, the song says, Kate Yesu. It's God's love. It's Inda. Very beautiful. Very, very, uh, it, very beautiful. More beautiful than the Pelangi. This is a rainbow. Lebih indah dari bintang di langit. What is bintang? Stars. Very good. So you show stars. Lebih indah dari bunga di taman. How do you show bunga? Bunga. <laughs> bunga. Okay, so because God made you and you are also beautiful and pretty. Okay. So we shall sing with your actions done, okay? And it's so great, am I right? So no matter what you do, you can always come to God because He loves you so much. Okay? Shall we quieten down our hearts to sing our next song? Ask God to come. Ask the Holy Spirit to come touch our hearts. Okay? So let the song speak to your heart. Don't look at your friends. Don't play with your friends. Give this time to God, okay? children, sing this song and ask the Holy Spirit to come. Touch your heart.
Lord Father, for, for who you are, Lord, that, that indeed, O oh God, you withhold nothing from us, O oh God, and you give us everything. So, Lord, even as the, <clears throat> as the children, Lord, continue to learn more about you, Lord, may you grant them a heart that is attentive, help them to be able to listen to the teachers and pay attention. Lord, may you continue to see these little hearts, Lord Father, and then, Lord, that they will continue to grow to truly love you more. To love the Holy Spirit more, God. Lord, as they live each day, that they will too bring glory to you wherever they are. Be it in school or at home, that they will be a blessing to others too. Lord, you bless the rest of the time of the, these children. Lord, you bless the rest of the time of KKC where they learn more of you. Help them to not go back the same. But Lord, they will be changed and transformed by your word, oh God. Thank you, Lord Father, for today. Bless these children. We pray all this in Jesus' name. And all of God's children say, Amen. Amen. Thank you, JJ Gillian. Thank you, Uncle Joseph. Thank you, Auntie, Auntie, Auntie. Bernice, Bernice. Sorry, yeah. Uh, block here, suddenly block. Thank you, okay, for our children that serve. Okay, children, you automatically know what to do. One. After worship, you sit down. Very, very good. Okay. Let me see all of you. Pay attention up here because today, who is talking? I am talking. No one else talking. You can talk if you want to teach. Okay, children, I'm so happy today. Do you know why? Because I see our little girl come out to worship God here. Oh, correct or not? Very good. Huh? Okay, children, today we want to welcome a VIP that comes to join us. It is very important, children, every Sunday, must invite your friends. After today's KKC, our lesson, uh, you must know why God bring you to KKC. is to become somebody to other people, okay? 
So now today I want to uh, welcome one special newcomer. He's Lim Zin Bin. Zin Bin, where are you? Eight years old. Where is Lim Zin Bin? Come, come, girl. Okay? Ah, uh, be brave. Okay? Zin Bin. Okay. Uh, these are all your friends, huh? Very soon you will know them by name, one by one. So don't be scared, huh? Okay? Ah, Zin Bin. I, I know that you study in Chongta Simia. Chongta Simia, okay. And Zimin, okay. Who brought you here? I think I saw your mommy, yeah? all right? Okay. So we want to welcome you. Come Sunday after Sunday and get to know. Okay. All those that are from Chongta, put up your hand. Hey, a lot of children come from Chongta, okay? But very good. You come from Chongta Chinese School, but in KKC you learn English law. Correct. You become better. Okay. Can recognize them or not? How they are eight years old. Who knows uh, Zimbin? Who knows Zimbin? Who knows Zimbin? You know. You know her. I said you know her. Amanda also you know her. Okay. Look after her. Huh? Look after her. Huh? Okay. Come, hey, we got another. Okay, Amanda. Amanda brought these two children. Oh, brother. Okay, Amanda, you are a good uh, example of today's lesson. Influence. Amanda went to Chongta, met Zimbin, influencer. Come, come, come. This is called influence. Okay, then, okay, uh, we got also two new friends. Okay, may I know your name? What's your name? Faustin. Wow, Faustin, a new name, ah? Huh? Faustin, how old are you? Five. Five. Wow, very confident, ah? Huh? Hey, confident or not? Confident or not? Give a thumbs up. Yeah, confident. Faustin. Faustin, is this your brother? Okay, may I know your name? Jerome. 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 Oh, long time you haven't had this name. Jerome and Faustin. Faustin. Welcome to KKC. Uh, who invited you here? Who brought you here? Who brought you here? My cousin. Who is your cousin? Wow, there another pair of influencers. Influence, influence, messenger for God. Okay, welcome. Okay, Fos, uh, Foster, Faustine. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, and also Jerome. Okay, children. Today, how many friends? Our other friends brought to KKC? Satu, dua, tiga. San ke? Auntie don't know, doesn't know a lot of Mandarin, but I know e a san. e a san. Okay? Three friends. Okay. Do you like them to come every Sunday? Yeah. Whether they come or don't come uh, depends on how you cheer them. Can you all stand up? Okay. Okay. Uh. They're going to welcome you. Jangan uh. takut. Okay, don't be frightened. Okay, they welcome you. Okay, let's give them the normal, loud KKC cheer at the count of three. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 We welcome you, okay, every Sunday, 3.30 to 5 o'clock. Okay, we are always here. Okay, so you come, okay? Okay, take home a present. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, you can go back to your place. Put this inside your pocket or put it in your bag, okay? Are you ready to learn? Okay, now children, now, just now, I already introduced what we are going to learn today. Now today, there's one big word up there, okay? Influence. Now, do you know what you, what you mean by influence? Okay, can you break down or replace influence by uh, another word? Okay, anyone? 100 points for the first person who can tell me something, what it means to be an influence. Isaac? No, no. Okay, uh, Jaden. Jaden, number one. There are a few Jaden here. Uh, to, to, to make people, to make people 
still something like you influence you influence them to believe in God, believe in the Bible. Okay, okay, we can give him one hundred points. Influence, okay, okay. Now influence means to effect, to make a change, to sway. For example, today we got Amanda influence. The her friend Zimbin at school and say, Zimbin, Zimbin, I'm sure she influenced, okay? Influence Zimbin, tell Zimbin that there's KKC at 3 o'clock, at 3, uh, 3.30, okay? At this church. She influenced, she pujok, pujok her. This is a form of influence. Now today, it is also mean you sway, you change people's mind. Come la, come la, from Okay, not out in KKC to come to KKC. Or not following Jesus become, okay, to follow Jesus, to get to know Jesus. Now, before I carry on, I want somebody to come and help me with this lesson. Okay, Amanda, can you come? Oh, mama, sorry, Audrey. Audrey. Okay, Audrey, come. Cepat sikit, cepat sikit. Quiet, quiet, quiet then. Okay, now, Audrey. Now, Audrey, let me explain uh, how Audrey can be an influence or influencer or influencer. messenger for God. Okay, influencer. Audrey, I'm going to ask you a, some questions. Can we give Audrey? A, a, okay, Audrey, let me ask you a few questions. Children, you listen carefully. Uh. Audrey, okay. Audrey, today our lesson is about children influencing the world. But... Auntie Yi, the world's so bigger. How to win them for Jesus? I'm not asking about Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, North Pole, South Pole. I'm just talking about your world, okay? Now, for example, okay, let's say this is Audrey. Okay, you see Audrey there? Audrey, do you have friends in school? Yes. Louder, please? Yes. Yes. You have, uh, can you name some of the friends that always uh, uh, go around with you in school? Can you name some? Uh, Natasha, some more? Okay, never mind. Only Natasha click with you in school, is it? Huh? Okay, so, okay, Audrey influences Natasha. Okay, Audrey also. Do you know that Audrey got you got teachers in your class? Ah, your teachers. You can also influence your teachers. So Audrey's world got her teachers, got her friends, her best friend. Okay, okay, and also uh, Audrey. Do you go for ballet dancing? Yes. Ah, yes. You got also friends at ballet school. Where else you go? Ah, okay. But most important, ah. Uh, I think Audrey can influence her parents, okay, her grandparents, her cousins, correct or not? Okay, even, okay, Audrey brought along Avisha, all right? Avisha also related one to Audrey. So children, Audrey is, okay, is like, okay, I want you to see something. Who is mending the LCD? Okay. Can we click on the video? I want all of you to see. Uh, I'm going to teach you an object lesson with a video. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh. Let's see what Audrey can do in school. Uh. Okay. Everybody? Okay. No sound one. I'm going to teach the lesson. Can you see the, the little... Uh, ah, can you see the... Cotton bud. Okay, stop. Okay, stop there. The cotton bud is like Audrey. Okay, the different colors are like the people that Audrey touch around her world. The milk is like Audrey's world. The colors, the food colors are like the people, like Avisha, la, like her friend Natasha, la, like her teacher, Piano, a ballet teacher, like her teacher at Chongta. Yes or no? Okay, those are her 
the people that she can influence in the world. So the earbud, let's see uh, when the earbud first a touch earbud can only influence the colors when it is put into the dish drop. That means the soap solution. Open your eyes up. Uh. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, earbud on the video again. Ah, look. Now, okay, uh, Audrey, okay, with the help of the Holy Spirit, the dish drop is like the Holy Spirit maker and influencer. Can you see because of that earbud with the, the soap solution, all the colors spread out, influence. So, Audrey is like the earbud, but she doesn't do it alone. She has the Holy Spirit to empower her, to help her, so that she won't be afraid. And then start to invite Avisha, come to KKCO. And then next time, okay, she can tell, teacher, I'm a Christian, to her piano teacher or even to her teacher in school. Understand? Okay, now we will ask Audrey to pray. Okay? Okay? Then, okay, Audrey, make a simple prayer for KKC today. Put the mic to Hello God, we pray that today will be a good day and we will all be safe. We pray that nothing bad will happen and that your Holy Spirit can protect us. Okay, Audrey pray a good prayer. Say, the Holy Spirit will help us, the Holy Spirit will protect us. We can do nothing without the Holy Spirit. Okay, thank you Audrey. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Huh? Okay, let us continue with the lesson on influencers. Okay? Okay, huh? so children, wherever you are placed, okay, there are people around you, correct or not? Immediate will be your family members, your brothers, sisters. Then you spend a lot of time in school, then you have your friends. Am I correct? When you go for tuition, you have your tuition friends. Or even your kapi. Kapi, you know what is kapi or not? Jiran. Jiran, huh? your neighbors. You play with your neighbors. You are an influencer. You can help them know Jesus. So children, we don't do it alone, but with the help of the Holy Spirit. Okay, now, when we want to influence, we want you to be what type of influence? Bad influence or good influence? Good influence. Don't be a bad influence. Okay? If it is a bad influence, we rather not you become influence. Amen? Uh, do, do naughty things. We want you to do good things so that your friends will look at you and say, huh, or your teachers look at you. That boy, that girl is different. That will make a difference. Okay? Now, what are some of the ways that your friends know that you are a good influencer? One is, be kind to them. Do you know that many things people see one? When people see, they will believe. So when they see you saying kind words, when they see you being kind to them, okay, helping them, that is good. Kind words and action. Then, also in school, Though the picture is small, but some of the things that you can actually influence your friend is when you go to canteen, what do you do? Line up. These are some of the simple things. When you want anything, you say yes, please, no, thank you. Now, this is something that all our KKC teachers want to see. We must be very automatic to say thank you, which some of you are very reluctant to say one. Thank you. Uh, say thank you. When you are offered something you don't want, don't say no. You say, no, thank you. Yes, please, no, thank you. May I? Don't say, I want to go to the toilet. Very rough. Uh. Teacher, may I go to the washroom? Don't even mention toilet. Washroom. Okay? So, also, okay, in school, pay attention. When your teacher see you pay attention, is it a good action? Yes. When your teacher see you, teacher, don't say teacher, teacher lah. Put up your hand, answer question. 
it says a lot about you as an influencer, as someone who knows Jesus. Understand? And also, when your friends cannot bully, don't, okay, be, re- tell them, tell, tell it to the teacher. Be a friend to your friend. Be a friend to your friend. So, be kind in your actions and also in your words, and you make good choices. Good choices means what? Finish your homework. Put, send in your homework, pass up your homework on time. That is a good choice. Don't, uh, tomorrow go to school, say, teacher, my favorite student will all say, teacher, I forgot, I left at home. Chundama? Chundama? Hiya, poor chunda. They, this is a common excuse. Oh, teacher, I left at home. Oh, I left my homework in the car. I call your mother, la. Send it over. Okay? So, children, be a good influencer. Do your work properly. Write nicely. Okay? Answer questions. Queue up. Sit down. Share your things with your friend. And also, just now, as Audrey, as I said before, the immediate people that you influence are your parents. You got grandpa, grandma, uncle, auntie that do not know Jesus. So, tell them, I go to church every Sunday and I learn this at KKC. This is a way of telling them to follow Jesus. Don't have to be, I, okay, even uh, when you say, I pray for you, can or not, grandma? Jesus, heal my papa, my kong kong. In Jesus' name, all these are the little things that we can do for your kong kong or even your brother, sister. Oh, you are late. Ah. I pray, God, okay, that you will re- reach your school safely. All these are little things that we show that we follow Jesus. Okay, and also, besides your parents, your relatives around you, your friends, your teachers in school, actually very important, ah, correct? Nah? correct? Okay, Auntie Mao Jing, ah, we know one who are our special boys and girls. When they are followers of Jesus, uh, they are a different set apart today. Set apart. You know what is set apart? Chosen. Chosen by God to be a messenger, to tell Jesus, to tell others that Jesus loves them. So children, okay, remember today's lesson when you go back is be an influencer. Influencer means a messenger for God. A messenger means tell a message. What a message? that Jesus loved them and Jesus wants to save them. So, can we make the world around us a better world? Yes, to be an influencer. So now, let us pray. Okay, are you ready? Okay, follow, okay, after Auntie Yia. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace. Making me your child. Help me to love you and obey you. Empower me to love others too. Wash me clean from every sin. And enable me to praise you with all my heart. Jesus, change me to be more like you each day. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Help me to be your influencer. To my family, my friends, and teachers too. Thank you for being my good father and good shepherd, leading and guiding me in everything I do, say or think. In Jesus' precious name, I pray it. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen. So children, 
remember, okay, that we are influencers and don't be afraid to be an influencer because God's spirit will help you. So now we got Uncle, Dr. Andrew. We must give due homage, okay? He's a doctor, yet he teach you like, like us, correct or not? Okay, uh? he's uncle, okay? So uncle, Dr. Andrew, okay, over to you. Thank you, Mrs. Yi. Children, today we are going to learn about Bible story. But this Bible story is not the usual one that you hear Jonah swallowed by a whale, Noah building a big ark. But it's from the Bible too, okay? It is taken. Wait, uh. It is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter eighteen, verse one to six. If you remember, where is the book of Matthew from? The New or Old Testament? Hey, louder. Hey, New Testament. Ah, everyone get it correct. So, Old Testament. It's not so correct, huh? Okay, so New Testament. So it's one of the Gospels and it tells you about the story where Jesus' disciples asked him, who is the greatest? Ah. So before you can answer that, okay, we want to watch a video first and see what is it about, okay? Jesus and the children. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. One day, some parents brought their children to Jesus so he could bless them. But the disciples scolded the parents for bothering him. Choo, choo, choo. When Jesus saw what was happening, he was angry with his disciples. Uh, hold on there. He said to them, let the children come to me. Don't stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. I tell you the truth, anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. Then he took the children in his arms and blessed them. So children, this story from the Bible, uh, it tells us about Jesus and the children. Do you think Jesus loves the little children? Yes. You think only the little children? No. Oh, what about the big children like me? Yes. yes. Ah, thank you. I feel a relief now. Okay. So, this story tells us about the disciple asking Jesus, "Who is the greatest?" Ah, wait first. Wait first. Not so fast. Ah. So the question asked to Jesus, and Jesus answered them by telling them, "If you become like one of the children," who come humbly, okay, and know about God, they are the greatest. What do you think that means? Huh? Do you think children will know best? Does it mean that? No. Huh? Okay, let me give you an example. When I was young, huh, I, when I listened to the teaching by Auntie Yi just now, huh, to be an influencer, you know, I was like, huh? I'm a little boy, you know, and I'm so timid and shy. Ask me to go and catch up my friend and tell them, hey, you want to know about Jesus? Do ah? you think I will do that last time? No, but we remember the Holy Spirit, isn't it? Correct. Ah, so we have the Holy Spirit in us that will help us to be influenced to our friends. So from this story, we see that Jesus was a very busy man, isn't it? What is Jesus busy doing? Ah, heals the sick. What sort of sickness do you think Jesus healed? Every sickness, the blind, skin diseases, asthma maybe, yeah? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, 
Ah, Ebola. Okay, that one I do not know. <laughs> okay, all diseases. Ah, okay. Oops, sorry. Okay, and perform miracles. He is so busy. What did Jesus do here? A storm. Okay, if you have been in a big ship, in a rough sea, okay, when you go through a storm, it will be frightful, isn't it? Ah, we do not have earthquakes here. We do not have. Uh, Tsunamis here, yet maybe, uh, but when the things come, uh, this strikes you, uh, it will be terrifying. But who can stop them? Jesus. Uh, and Jesus at that time was busy doing all these big miracles. Okay? And Jesus also raised the dead. Uh, have you gone to a dead body and asked the dead body to get up, get up? Yes. No. No. Uh, you try and see, I'm sure it doesn't work. Only Jesus is able to do that. Jesus, even though he's busy with everything that he do, okay, one day when the mothers brought the little children to see him, the disciples thought, don't send the little children here. Send them back. It's like saying, what is Isaac doing here? Send Isaac home. Go home, go home. Do you like that or not? No, right. We want to come and see Jesus. And Jesus, bless the little children. Ah, Jesus loves them and Jesus said that the children is humble. Okay. Who knows what humble means? Patrick? Ah, proud. Good. So, is proud a good thing or better than humble? No, isn't it? Who is proud here? Can I see their high noses? God, uh, no. Uh, Jesus asks us to be like children because children are humble. When they are humble, do you think when people tell them about Jesus, they will understand and they will accept in their hearts? Yes. Compared to me, let's say I have millions of dollars in my pocket here. Uh, and Ah, Mrs. C says, Doctor, well, hmm. hey, you better, better uh, walk, walk down lowly uh, when you pass by me. Uh. Uh, doctor, you know. Uh, I'll be a very proud person then. Then, when someone tells me about God, do you think I will want to listen? No. I will say that uh, I have all this money in my pocket. I have a big title. I have a big car and a big mansion. Plenty of rich and famous friends like Ellen the Great. Ah, just kidding only. Yeah. So, if I have all that, do you think I have time to want to stop and listen to Jesus or not? Surely no, right? So, when your children, your mind don't think these things, your heart is humble, you are willing to sit down and listen. So, children, you are all good examples and good influencers. Remember what is influences or not? Ah, you are able to do what? Ah, good, yeah. You can change. You can ask your friends to come to church to know about God. A very short story to add to this. My grandmother was not a Christian last time. She has passed away and gone home to be, father, to be God the Father now. But my grandmother, when she was not a Christian, she comes to our home. Yeah? At that time, she didn't like us. You know, he listen Christian family. Uh, the father, the mother, the children all believe in Jesus one. Mm, I don't like because I believe in the ancestor God. So, how? She's not happy when she comes to the house. And then, it was not just one day, but many years, she comes to stay with us and she see the love of God in our family. In the end, what happened? Ah, she became a Christian. She asked my father, how do you accept, how do we accept Christ into our life? And in her final years, she followed Jesus and gave her life to God. Yeah? It might not be easy to just influence your friends one day, two days, one hour, two hours, but sometimes it may be hard work. But the Holy Spirit will help you. Okay, so thank you children. This is...
the Bible lesson that you will learn. Okay, let me see the memory words. Can we read together, children? One, two, three. Dear children, let's not many say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions. First John chapter 3, verse 18. Okay, children. Uh, I show you some action and then you all stand up and follow. Uh. Dear children, now uh, just like we write letter like Dear children, let, no, no, let, let, uh, I'll show you one time first. Uh. Let's not many say that we love. This is the sign language of love. Uh. Let, uh, let's not many say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our action. Come uh. Dear children, let's not many say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our action. First John 3. Okay, all children stand up. Okay, stand up. Okay. Okay, all children stand, stand up. up. Okay. Uh, you. Okay. Let's do it together. Uh. together. One, two, three. Dear children, let's not many say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by action. First John 3, 18. Okay, let's do one more time. Huh? One, two, three. Dear children, let's not many say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions. First John 3, verse 18. One more time, we do faster a bit. Huh? One, two, three. Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions. 1 John 3, verse 18. Okay, children, now you know the words of memory. Okay, children. Okay, uh, let me take it one more step further. Uh, okay? Now, inside this memory verse, the word merely. Merely to some, okay? You may not know what is merely. Merely means do not only. Do not only say we love each other. Okay, there's a famous saying that say, okay, action speaks louder. Action speaks louder means you show people by your true action rather than check up only. Many, sometimes people like to talk, 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 but do nothing. I rather that you do something rather than just talk, 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 talk. Don't talk, but show. Okay, so in school, there are many ways you can show one. Show, okay, the truth. Now, what truth are we talking about? The truth we are talking about is according to God's way. Not according to what you think is the right way, but according to God's way, the truth, the word of God. What you learn at KKC, we believe that what we teach you every Sunday is not of our own, uh, but all from the Word of God. Uh, broken down, diluted, not diluted, uh, make it bro broken down to make it more simple for you, okay? Because we got young children, we got older children, so we strike a medium, okay? Somewhere in the middle to make you understand. The truth means according to God's way. So, action speaks louder than words is the most important thing over here. Okay, now you fold your arms. Oh, fold your arms. Okay, get ready because Auntie Ellen got something to show you. One, okay. I just realized we really uh, we are people of different generations. You know why I want to say that? Because today the topic is the object lesson is you got mail. 
during our time, we will wait for the man on the bicycle. He will come, bring, 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 bring. He will come to our house and then will just give us the letters, whatever letters, letters from the government, letters from the bank, or letters from boyfriends or girlfriends. So we are, if we are, or letters from our brothers or sisters who are studying overseas. So we will wait, especially when you start to have boyfriend, yeah? You just wait to have letters from, boy, uh, from, uh, from him. Uh. Or Chinese New Year. Nowadays, Chinese New Year, you get all the greeting cards, uh, all the greetings through WhatsApp. Uh. They were just forward and forward and forward. Chinese New Year, Christmas, or whatever festivals. But during our time, ha. Huh, we will have New Year card. Uh, we will have New Year card and then we will just proudly uh, show the New Year card on the wall or on the table. Uh, okay, let me ask you, do you know your postman in your area? Yes, sir. You've seen your postman in your area. Okay, what vehicles he uses now? Uh, last time, the postman, uh, our postman will come on bicycle. And then the poor guy sometimes being chased by dogs. Oh, we really pity him. And we know, and we know the postman uh, very well. We are like friends. Uh, okay, then you will get the letter. Okay, and today, I want to show you letter from God. You know, what is this? The Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is actually letters from God. Sometimes we say it is love letters from God. Why? Because in the Bible, it's just full of God's love. Uh, God shows His love. Through the words in the Bible. Okay? And uh, I didn't write this. Did you write the Bible? No. The Bible was written by men who heard God's voice and wrote them down. Okay? And then the, this Bible was not written in one day, in one year, all right? It's written over many hundreds of years by different people. But they are talking about the same thing. Okay, now today we are talking about being an influencer for God. How do we become influencer for God? Do you mean that uh, we uh, copy the Bible and then we send, we send out, be messenger of God? Do you mean uh, we go home uh, today? Go home. I will write. I will copy, copy the words of God, and then I will give to my friends. Is it like that? Uh? No, uh, it's not like that. But today, I have letters for you. Okay? I have letters for you. Ah, come, your, your teacher is going to give you the letters. Okay. This one is a special envelope, yeah? Mm. Everybody will get a letter on the envelope. What is written on the envelope? Your name. Hey, this is a letter from God to you, yeah? Uh, okay. Everybody will get one. Uh, everybody will get a letter. Letter from God. 
Okay, you open your letter. Uh, children, open your letter and you will find, open the envelope and you will find the letter. Hey, how do you open the envelope? You don't open it like that, you just lift it and then the letter is in there. Don't take off everything. Ayo, I spent hours folding them. Uh. <laughs> you just lift the. That's why, yeah. That's why, children. You don't even know how to open the envelope. Oh no. Okay. I spent hours folding them. Poor me. Okay, inside the letter, okay, Zixian, can you read the letter for us? Read the letters for us. Micah 6 a and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy, to walk humbly with your God. Yes, okay. Uh, anybody else? Okay. Okay, Brandon. Uh, where's the letter? You read out the letter. John A, verse 32. As you will know the truth, and the truth will send you free. Yes, yes, amen. Good boy. Okay, who else? Okay. Your letter. You read. And you know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John A, verse 32. Okay. Good, very good. So, okay, now, you are, what are we supposed uh, to do with uh, God's letter? Okay, all these verses are God's letter to us, telling us what to do. Okay, so God, hey, God wants us to understand, okay, to know, to understand, and to live it out. And to put it into action. Okay? Put it into action and also to pray. To pray on it. Yes, you use God's verses, God's word to pray. That's what God wants us to do. Yeah, be an influencer, be a good influencer for God. So not just by words only, but also by action. And when you pray, you always thank God first. Now you can use the verses to pray. You always thank God for giving us the word. Thank God for giving us the uh, showing us the way okay all right yeah so be a good influencer when you go back to school you just leave out what god wants you to do you understand his word then you put it into action all right so next time when you see the postman you remember the letter from God, and you remember what God wants you to do. You always say, I love God, but show it by obeying His word. Okay? When you go back to school, when you go back to school, be humble, be helpful, hard work, be hardworking, be a good student. All right? Okay, yeah? Okay. Okay, thank you, Teacher Ellen. Huh? She is a good influencer. She's so good, huh? make you envelope. Oh, and not only that, oh, write your name. Oh. Jangan my mind. Oh. Thank you, Teacher Ellen. Huh? Okay, children. Shh. Hey. Now, today you receive a special letter from God, a special message. So, take it to heart. Huh? Don't take it lightly. Not everyone happened to get that verse. All of you got different verses. Huh? 
It is God personal letter. Things don't happen accident one. That was given to you. Okay. Ethan. His verse was. Okay, ah. Uh, so Ethan, God asked you to do this, ah. Uh, Alright? Okay. Now, remember the word of God is very powerful. The word of God, when you pray back God's word, ah, uh, God will surely answer your prayer. One. Do you know that even as big children, we say, whatever God says, it will never come back a fruitless one. It will not come back white. So, for, for Ethan, Ethan, do you know what God says? God saved you by His grace. Uh, and when you believe, when you can't take credit for this, it is a gift from God. That means, God saved you free of charge. Free of charge. Okay? Salvation is free. So, Ethan, keep this nicely. Put it in your Bible. Every now and then, take out and read. Don't keep it there. Every now and then, take out and read. Okay, Ethan? Thank you.